Y'all promote the bougie lifestyle. I promote the struggle lifestyle. Like, oh, I'm about to go see my friend. She was like, who? I was like, Struggle the Preacher. And she looked at me like, what kind of name is Struggle the Preacher? I said, yeah. I don't know, but it's his name. And she was like, why did they call him Struggle the Preacher? When I hear Struggle the Preacher, I think about somebody that has a testimony. Why Struggle the Preacher? What's the story behind your name? Where did you get the name from Struggle the Preacher? Are you a preacher? The phrase, your struggles don't define you, is very popular, but at the same time is misinterpreted. In fact, our struggles define us and shape us and make us the person we are today. It all depends on how we handle them. They can either make us or break us. Let's dive in history. I chose the word struggle by chance back in 2000. When they asked me what was the reason for it, I say, I had only one reason to choose a rare word, and to me, it was a rare one back then. Opening the dictionary, I came across the word struggle, and honestly I can't remember why I had my gaze fixated upon this word. A page back, I saw the word strap, which I later called my brother. I was struggling between the two words to choose for myself. So the struggle was already there, and when they asked me what I struggle with, I used to answer myself. I believe I added the preacher part about three years later. I had a De La Soul CD and there was a track called Reverend. Actually, there was not a real track, it was a skit and called Reverend Do Good. And there was Reverend Do Good number one, number two and number three. Right now, as I'm thinking about it, I can't remember more than one track by De La Soul. So you can see how insignificant things can have a huge impact on your life. So, I liked how it sounded and the fact that it was religion related. So, based on that, I found the word preacher in dictionary and added the modified article there before it. A preacher is a religious word, which I have mentioned in some of my lyrics. Everybody's locked, but reach above a kid, but don't mistake a preacher for a Christian. I'm not a prophet, I am a preacher. Remember, I am a preacher, not a priest. Just as I did with struggle, I chose it at random. Because I liked it, without putting too much thought into it. I want to mention that the word struggle does not exist in the Russian language per se. Or at least not to my knowledge. It is understood to mean a conflict, a battle, a combat, an obstacle or difficulty. However, there isn't the right word for it. The closest thing to that would be an obstacle or a difficulty. But then again, I'm saying it in English right now. In English, it has a different connotation. According to the Google Dictionary, struggle means a forceful or violent effort to get free of restraints or resist attack. However, that's not the only meaning of this word. That's why when Russians ask me to explain my name, it's not always easy to do so. Whereas people over here, especially those who live in the hood, yet another word that cannot be translated into Russian correctly. They understand it and they say they like it a lot because that's what we all have in common. When you go to church, you want to listen to the preacher. The preacher has to have a testimony for you to relate to him and understand. And his testimony is the struggle. My website's tagline reads, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. And that's the core of my life. The word doesn't have a negative connotation for me. Sufferings and hardships, or our struggles, they humble us. Struggle gives faith which makes me go back to the preacher. I heard how Russians translated my name as the preacher of struggle, which is obviously incorrect. By the way, that's what I called my second album. I used to dislike when people tied this word to religion only. And I used to say that you can preach anything, not just the word of God. And as an artist, I feel that I am a messenger. As I grow spiritually, my name has become more apparent to me. It's become more meaningful. To be honest, there were times when I didn't realize the significance of my name and I thought it was just cool. But after so many years of different struggles and hardships, I came to realize how much I identify myself with this, with this word. That's why I like to be called by my artist name. As I said, our struggles define us and I preach them. That's why I'm struggling the preacher. You got the voice, like, 
of someone who's really been through some shit. like oh i'm about to go see my friend she was like who i was like struggle the preacher and she looked at me like what kind of name is struggle the preacher i said yeah. i don't know but it's his name and she was like why did they call him struggle the preacher i was like maybe it's like an oxymoron you know what i'm saying like you got the preacher on one hand and you got the struggle on this side like everyone expects a preacher to only preach the good shit. like you're gonna be prosperous and you're gonna live and you know so most Russians, when they hear the word preacher, they're thinking that's what it means. But the whole struggle, struggle and the preacher, it's, it's, it's two extremes. You know what I'm saying? It, it's the struggle. It's the, it's the, it's that dark side that we don't get to hear. You know what I'm saying? And then you got preacher, and preacher. Everyone expects the preacher to only tell you the light. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to church, you go to church and you hear everybody talking about it. Uh, I've listened to the preacher today and he was talking about this and that I'm going to make money and I'm going to have food on my table. I'm going to have this. But struggle is what we going through in life. You know, I don't know unless you unless you're, I don't know, Donald Trump, <laughs> Donald f-ing Trump, you going through struggles in life. And I think I think it's like the realest to me. Out of any rapper I've heard in Russia, this name to me is like the most authentic, most honest, f- real. Real is the word real is overrated. It's like the most honest name you can come up with for an MC. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, thinking in the metro, like, man, this name struggle preacher, what I mean, what does it mean anyway? And and but when I thought about it and I went back to your page. And I tried to see maybe you have an explanation of what struggle the preacher means. And I didn't really see like a specific place where you put an explanation. So what I did was I just went back through all your tracks one day, that that day, yesterday. official website, right? No, not your official website, on your VK. And I'm going through every track and I'm like, man, everything you rap about, like, it's kind of opposite of what people want to hear these days like well not people want to hear but the mainstream wants to hear everything is club everything is i got the freshest gear everything is i got the hottest everything is you know like this but you're when you rap it's like i feel like you've really been through some like it's not like we're talking about uh some gangster or or some some street credibility or something. We're talking about real life that you've been through, like like as a man and growing up and become becoming a man. You know, I think it was what song was it? Um, I think you it was you you were rapping about your brother. It was it was the track you had sent me, the track you had sent me. Uh, I got it here on my phone, and you're like saying I came up with my brother and no one taught us how to fight. No one had no, no one taught us how to fight in these streets. We had to fight oh, ourselves. Back and better. Back and better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back and better, but never admit it. Wanted to tell me, to tell me, tell me, to tell me that I gotta quit. I just took my time while you hate. So now I'm stronger than never. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was what I was listening to in the metro, and I was thinking to myself like, when you're rapping this stuff, like the voice you you use is it's your voice it's the voice you're using to talk to me right now but it's it's got that hunger you know what i'm saying it's got that hunger it's got that like like that experience when i hear struggle to preach i think about somebody that has a testimony um someone that could relate to the people to the have-nots to struggle is to strive for perfection to to be determined, to keep, to go to, you know, uh, what we say, stack and starve, to uh, sacrifice, to uh, build. And um, you want to listen to people that have been where you've been before. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't teach me how to fly a plane if you never stepped in the cockpit. You can't tell me how to be a NASCAR driver if you've never been on the track. Uh, you know, it's very simple. You can't tell me how to box if you've never been in the ring. There's so many different things. And uh, this is the preacher, you know. The preacher is only going to tell you what he knows. He's only going to tell you what he has experienced. 
You understand what I'm saying? So if you think that people are going to listen to you and you never been where these people been, you can't call yourself a real preacher. But he's here. He's he's been in the in the pits. He's you know, this is, you know, the area of the have nots, you know what I mean? And um same thing, you go to church, you won't listen to the preacher. The preacher has to have a testimony for you to relate to him and understand. And his testimony is the struggle. Struggle goes on, no, but struggle goes on, no, but struggle's over. I wanted to see now, but I leave it for later. Gotta say goodbye. I'll my life for a later.